Hello everyone. Big game out here. Back again with another pig ups. This one's a little bit different for you though. We've got some toys. Yeah, I've got, got one, two, three, four, five video games to show you and some toys. So yeah, I went went over to the uh, Nebworth Toy Fair a couple of weeks ago now. Well, probably a lot longer than that. And I did pick up some nice toys, so yeah. But first, we're going to start with the games, but first I've got a little gift. So uh, recently I beat Fall Guys. And uh, my good friend, Gernaldinho Plays, Rob, has given me this. Says, uh, congratulations, big game, Al. 1000G. Now, since he gave me this, I've actually beat Fall Guys twice now. Because I, ha I have also have the Platinum. But uh, he did try to get the box, and the closest he can get was a little T-Rex figure. So, it don't bother me. It's going to go sit on that shelf over there. So you can all see it in the background of all future videos. So yeah, it should be a good laugh, a little bit of Fall Guys thing in the background. As well as some toys, there's going to be some toys in the background. We'll get on to that. Right, so let's get on to the video games. So first up, we have got a PS4 game. Yes, don't see that very often on this channel. It is. Can't drive this. Which apparently is meant to be quite awful, but it looked quite fun. A lot of online on it, so yeah, it's a little, little bit of a battleground racing style game. So, I've seen a couple of streams of it, so it looked like uh, one one player's one player drives, the other one builds the road. There you go, construction one of it as well. I may have this confused with another game I watched. <laughs> it's, a, it's a race building game okay <laughs> so you start the race and you haven't even had the track built yet yeah completed what was the one i was thinking of then that come out with a ps5 they give it away free i thought it was this maybe not oh well we've got it now we can give it a try got that from the game collection pretty cheap right next up we have got a switch game so I was just in my local CEX, trading a load of stuff in. I looked around the Switch games and I see this there and I thought, you know what? Why not give it a go? I don't know what's on here. But there's more than 100 playable games. It is the Atari 50 year collection. So this is, well, the anniversary collection, but it's basically 50 years. Atari 50, the anniversary collection. So I don't actually know what's in it. it doesn't just has 50 written on there. If you want to turn it around, just have 50 with the Atari symbol. But yeah, there's uh, games on here from seven Atari platforms, including Jaguar, the Lynx, the 2600, the 5200, the 7800, the 800, and the Arcade. So there, you'll never experience classic gaming like this. We'll give it a go. <laughs> it looked fun. Right, next up is a game I've been meaning to play on the Xbox 360 for ages. And they've done a remaster on the Xbox One. I don't normally pick up remasters, but for this one, I thought it'd be worth it. It is Alan Wake. There you go. It's got the same name as me as well, Alan. Look, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I believe it's a survival horror game. I don't really know much else other than that for, for it. But uh, yeah, I've, I've never seen any gameplay of it. I just hear people talking about how good it is. So I thought, you know what? Let's pick up the remaster. I've got it pretty cheap, as you can see, sealed from the game collection. Could actually trade this in for CEX for more than what I paid for it. So, uh, yeah, I've got it, got it pretty cheap. And they was doing triple points, at, uh, no, five times points at the time. So I made a uh, little bit of credit as well for uh, the game collection from it. So, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a little go. And I guess the uh, graphics will be a lot better on this one. Right, next up. A game again this is on the 360 I've not played it yet but this is the I guess in the sequel game it's Barger Barger Edge of Control HD I'm guessing it's a different game and not just a remake of that one it actually comes with a manual but we've got a manual in there manual in an Xbox one game yeah this was like three or four quid in CEX so I just Randomly picked it up, thought, you know what? 
let's, let's give it a go. I, I do like my racing games. Bit of a off track ATV style one. But yeah, I thought I'd, thought I'd give that a little go. And the last game I've got for this is. I don't know, it's probably one I'm never even going to play. It's, it's a still book. I got drawn in. I was in CEX and they had them behind the counter. And I was went, oh, what still books you got there? And they got they got all the 361 down, but I've got all of them. I went, oh, you got some Xbox Ones? And he goes, oh, yeah, we've got a couple. So I pulled down a full um, Horizon 3, I think. And then he pulled this one down. I thought, you know what? I'll grab it. It's for the Xbox Series X. It is, just so I'll let you know, this is the same price as a normal version. So you've got a still book version, the same price as a normal version. It is... Batman, what's it? No, Special Edition Gotham Knights. So don't even say Batman on it, it's just Special Edition Gotham Knights. Or just Gotham Knights, but it's Special Edition of it. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what it's like. But we've got Evil Batman by looks of it, and Evil Robin, we've got, that's supposed to be Deadpool, and Batgirl. Don't know, but. <laughs> he opened it up and I just looked at it and I thought, you know what? That looks absolutely fantastic. And even more so when you open it up fully. Look at that. It's just like a piece of art. There's nothing really on the inside. There's uh, some codes, but there's like no artwork on the inside whatsoever. There's a couple of codes here that might. Well, actually, there's a, there's a manual if you want to call it. There's a code. Make sure I don't show you that. And there's, there's, a, there's a manual. Yeah, there you go, it's a manual. <laughs> you can write your notes on it, that's all there is. But yeah, I, I just really, really liked it. It just looked really cool. So, cost me £15, that. Was, was it worth the paying the £15? I suppose I could give it a go now. If, if, it might even be on Game Pass, who knows? I ain't got a clue. I just saw it and thought, you know what, I've got vouchers. Grab it. So yeah, that was all the gaming stuff I got. Let's get into uh, this little pile of bundle here. <laughs> so we went to me and the nameless gamer. Gamer. Uh, basically, we, there's this guy who's been going around. He, he stalls at the car boot for ages. And then we went to a toy fair cool, well over a year ago now down in Cruise Hill. And then he messaged me and goes, oh, there's one at Nebworth, do you want to go? And I said, well, I ain't doing nothing, let's go. So there's a guy called Duncan, he's Duncan's Toy Purium. And he, uh, he he started doing a little toy fair. So there's a, there's a few dates coming up if you want to go to it. So you've got 19th of August, 21st of October, and the 9th of December this year. So yeah. And it is at, it's at the Nebworth Village Hall, Park Lane, Nebworth. SG3 6PD. It's 10 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. We was there before 10 a.m. to make sure we was there early. Because whenever you go to these events, you want to get there early because you don't want to think, oh, there was something there that I wanted and I'm never going to know now. At least if you're there early and you walk around and do what I do, didn't buy it and someone buys it when you go back to get it, then <laughs> it's a bit different. But yeah, but yeah, it's three pound to get in. Might have been worth it, I'm not sure. You'll have to watch my little footage of it. There weren't that many stalls there. But yeah, I had a good time. And I uh, was it was not expecting to buy anything. I was just going to go there and just do a little video of it, walk around, but I've actually come away with some stuff. So when I went around, the first thing I saw was Bucky O'Hare. I mean, he's got no weapon or anything. He was uh, four pound. Got his little cape and all that. It's all complete. Really nice condition. I thought, you know what? We get Bucky O'Hare sit on the old shelf over there. And uh, right next to him was his good old buddy, Dead Eye Duck. <laughs> Again, he was four pound upside down, but yeah, you can see he was four pound as well. So we grabbed a pair of them, and I thought, you know what? We'll have one either side, or we can even put them next to each other. Who knows? We, we've got all this shelving behind us to use now. We can get some toys up there. So we've got them. Very happy with them. 
then I was looking at this other store and he had like all the old packs of cards and stickers and all that and I thought, you know what? It's not really something I want, but I'll, uh, I'll grab a few. And uh, three of them are in really nice condition and I'm tempted to send them off to get them graded and have them on display, but I don't know. I've never never got anything grady before. And I don't know if it's gonna be well, I don't know how much it costs, I need to look into that, but they're not gonna be for sale, they're just gonna be collector's items to sit on the shelf. I just want them to keep them pristine because I'll drop these. They're uh, <laughs> one of them's thirty nine years old, it could if it gets a little mark on it or the corner gets dented, then it's not gonna look as good. But yeah. So I did pick up Gremlins. So this one, really, really nice condition. But they they were five pound each, or two for eight pounds. So of course, I'll grab the second one. So what what I was thinking of doing was actually so this is from 1984. It's 39 years old. I was thinking about doing a video of opening it, and as you can see, they come with one stick of bubble gum, which is still in there. And uh, I may open it and uh, look at the cards and eat the bubble gum. Let me know what you think. And the same again with Back to the Future 2. So this one, it's not as good as the Gremlins one, but this is the best one out of what was in that box. So yeah, these are from 1989, I think it is. Lost date now. Yeah, 1989. So these are from 1989 again. I've got two packs of them, and uh, yeah, this this one was a bit knackered in the corner, but I thought I'd I thought I'd send one off and open one. Who knows? <laughs> so I could do a little pack opening Gremlins and Back to the Future and throw it twice in the same video, and then the last one, again they they were two for eight pound. The last one I probably paid out on because I liked the movie and I thought you know what this looks really nice mint condition. Send this off to get graded, might get a might get a nine, a nine point five out of ten. And uh will look really nice on display. And that's Jurassic Park. This one doesn't have any gum in it. Has eight movie cards and one sticker. I think this, so this is from ninety something, I'm guessing. Ninety two. So it's thirty one years old. And it's in the Absolutely crisp condition. So yeah, I'm f thinking about sending free off. So uh, let me know in the comments and if you recommend any good people that do do the uh, grading. So yeah, I picked that up. I was on the store. I was looking at something I had on the windowsill. So I grabbed that off the guy as well. Done the old what's the best price you can do on all of it and he knocked a few quid off. And uh I see something else and I went, oh, how much do you want for that? And he goes, he peed out, he looked at it, he went, you can have it, put it in the bag. I thought, you know what? Thank you, freebie. It is all the way from 1990, 1998, we have got Hulk Hogan in his NWO outfit from WCW. He's meant to talk. I've got to change the battery out on it. But he has got the, uh, the bit inside. He hangs up somehow. But for free, what can you argue with that? Look at that, he looks quite fun. L little pussy thing with his big arms. Probably goes, yeah, yeah, brother. Whatever he says. What you gonna do when Hulkamania comes after you? Yeah, I like to give you all a laugh. But yeah, Hollywood Hogan. From the NWO era. Don't know what he's worth, but free, free. And what I was looking at was a toy all the way from 19. Oh, you can hear it already. I did, I did see a date on it. It was really early because I checked to make sure it was an original one because of the price. Let me just check the back quickly. Uh, da, 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 da. 1990. So yeah. 1990 original 
I've put batteries in it and I cleaned it up, put batteries in it, it all works. Fantastic condition. Just need to clean the bottles up. I've just seen there's a bit of dirt on there that needs cleaning off. There's some dead bugs by the looks of it, but yeah, we'll get it cleaned up. I've put a new bit of tape on the bottom to stop the bottom falling out, but it is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Action Pinball battery operated. So yeah, as you can tell, this is from 1990. Box is absolutely fantastic, but this was ripped and it kept coming open, so I've literally put a new bit of sellotape over the old bit, so it just doesn't look like it's not meant to be there. But yeah, she's in absolutely fantastic condition. And I've already been playing it and having a few good goes on it. But yeah. And, where is it? It works! Oh, I've got no, got no balls, I've got, I've got to get the balls out. I've got to lean it back a bit. It's meant to be laid down. There you go. You mean, you mean to lay it down and you fire them up. Yeah, I've got 400 points there. Not that bad. Wi Fi looks for it. Yeah, two in the 400. But yeah, it's, it's very, very loud. Obviously, it's from 1990. But, yeah. And only £15 for that. Really, really old original Turtles game. Can't really go wrong, can you? So, yeah, that, just show you that again. So, that's Duncan's Toy Furium doing his toy film and TV memorabilia fair. At Nebworth. So yeah, if, if you if you can make any of these dates, you probably see me there because I'll probably go to all of these. But yeah, that just leaves me to say thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed this little bit of different thing here, a bit of toys, let me know what one was your best one. If you're new, why not hit subscribe? If you like the video, slap a like on it, hit that little bell and all that rubbish. And yeah, that just leaves me to say thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't know why I don't know any there.